Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to load lookup data parallel in SSIS package. So I will show you what exactly do we mean by parallel. And we are going to learn how to use lookup transformations in SSIS package and use them in data flow task. How to use a cache transformation in SSIS package in parallel. And then we are going to learn how to use the cache transformation connection manager in lookup transformation. So let's understand uh, first of all lookup data parallel uh, term what we we are using here. So we have to create a, a package to demonstrate this part. Now we are creating a new SSIS package and here what I'm doing uh, I'm reading the data from a source customer table then uh, I'm matching with the customer name and only want to load the matching records. So I have a table called DBO lookup customer that has some customer name and some customer IDs, but I will make use of a customer name from the source. I will use the customer name and then look up against the customer name column here and get then finally we will get only the matching records. We will ignore the non matching records. Let's consider these are the three records in the uh, lookup customer table and in source we have John and Sam so these table these records will be ignored and last what do I want to do from this uh, DBO lookup sale I want to get the sale depending upon the name so I will be using the customer name from the source and get the sale amount uh, by using the uh, looking up uh, in this data set and finally I will be loading uh, the data to the destination table it has sale column that's extra column but rest of the columns are same customer name customer uh, id and city and state and uh, region so let's go and create uh, this package with by using lookup transformation right click uh, on the ssis packages tab new ssis package and we can rename this one call lookup parallel loading Here we will use data flow task. Inside the data flow task, we are going to read the data from the SQL Server table. So we will use OLEDB source. Double click, make a connection. And here we have the connection manager already. We are using test database. Hit OK. Now here instead of writing and getting the table from the drop down, I will recommend writing SQL query. So we can go back and just grab our query. So we have a source customer and here is my source customer table. Right click, say top uh, 1000 records, get the select query. We don't need the database name here because we are using connection manager and that's already pointing to the test. And uh, here we will be selecting SQL command, paste it, go to columns everything come in correct hit ok next part is uh, we use the lookup transformations uh, the very first lookup we want to use uh, we want to use against the uh, lookup uh, customer table <coughs> excuse me so we want to use that and want to load only the matching uh, and here is our qu um, table so we have a lookup uh, customer and I'm going to select only the customer name from uh, this table because uh, I'm not selecting any other column to add in the output. Uh, I just want to make sure the record does exist or don't exist. And here we'll use full cache and uh, we use redirect rows to the no match output if uh, there is any and go to connection and uh, here we will provide our query. Same thing again, I don't recommend writing, uh, sorry, getting the columns uh, from the drop down because see what is happening when you select this uh, table columns will be coming every column will be coming from that uh, table and maybe you only need one column or two column and you're bringing a lot of data in memory and putting pressure in memory on memory as well as on the uh, network so you don't need that always provide the query and also if you tomorrow your table is changed uh, a new column is added or uh, old column is dropped and you never even use uh, that column but your SSIS package is going to fail so provide the name so we have customer name 
from the lookup customer and we go columns and here we will map on customer name and we hit okay we are all good and if uh, next part is we will be using the second lookup transformation only getting the matching records and if we want to see non-matching records I can use a multicast on this side to show you those redirected rows which one would not match by the customer name so we can call it lookup uh, look up customer name and here this one will be our second to get the sale so we will use the full cache and then full cache when we will put everything in memory before our input records start matching with these records so we want to say redirect rows to no match if the records are not matching we want to redirect them to the no match output go to connection same way we wrote the query for first we write the query for the second and here we need two columns we need customer name on which we'll map and we will get the sale amount so I'm gonna copy this one go back to the package and say customer name and sale amount I always write my queries in uh, SSMS uh, instead of writing it here and getting errors and pasting. So write your queries there in SSMS, just paste it here. So preview it, everything come in correct in our case. Now we need to map on customer name and get the sale amount. So hit OK. And finally, we'll be writing the data to the destination. So we can call this one, let's rename this one, call it lookup sale get sale amount it's good idea to uh, rename your uh, transformations and sources uh, and data flows and tasks and everything because it really helps uh, uh, while it put the errors uh, in the log this th these names are used also when you are looking back on your SSIS packages you can make sense of what happened or what exactly you have done because lookup one lookup two lookup three doesn't re really make any sense those names are um, random names uh, and uh, it's a good idea to change according to the purpose of that transformation or a, a task here look up match output and finally we will be writing the data to the customer destination go to mapping and all columns are mapped correctly and we have to map sale amount manually so hit ok we are all good now now I want to show you what exactly happened when we read the data in the data flow task and then use multiple lookups how lookups behave do they load the data parallel or they do load the data as a sequential in memory and then start processing so that's what we were talking about so now let's run the package and we are gonna see the output and observe like what happened here if you take a look so the package started and then it is loading the data from the first one let me sorry let me show you could not open global this is fine these are just uh, and uh, look up uh, customer name it has cache three rows look up uh, customer name three rows unique rows and then you see is a uh, for the next one so th that's what happened and it is loading in sequence so one after one so I wanted to show you right here let it, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it a little big so get if you take a look here so that's what is happening it is loading in sequence so it will load the first one and then load the second one and then finally take uh, start processing the data from top to the bottom or source to the uh, bottom and uh, um, that's how it will work so now we learn in the data flow task all those records will be loaded to the look by using uh, in the memory by using the lookup transformation in sequence let's consider this first lookup has 5 million records so this will load 5 million records and then the second will start uh, it will load maybe another 10 million records in the uh, memory and then our process will start so in the pre if you will take a look again in the progress uh, you can go and take a look and see on pre execute uh, your lookup will start loading those uh, records in the memory once done then 
and start matching them. Now that's uh, okay in our cases because we have only three records but in case uh, you have a lot of records you have millions of records that process can uh, take long time we can uh, override this process and still uh, use the lookup transformation and same logic but uh, we will we can load the data from multiple sources uh, in a uh, parallel to the uh, memory so what we are going to do here we are going to bring the data flow task and inside the first data flow we can call we can call it the load lookup tables parallel load lookup data sorry lookup data to memory parallel and uh, first of all we will be reading the data from those uh, sources uh, and putting into the memory by using cache transformation so let me get uh, the source here so we have source uh, or ladyb source and this will be the first uh, table or second table whatever you want to use here you can always control c and then control v that will make a uh, multiple copies of these uh, transformations so you can open this one and uh, we will select uh, the query sorry and we say select uh, customer name from dbo.lookup customer and this is a same query we use in the lookup uh, and uh, first lookup uh, where we wanted to match with the customer name and load only the matching records so instead of uh, using the lookup uh, now we are going to load them into memory first in parallel and then use them by using cache transformation now we are all good with this one hit ok and uh, then bring uh, the other transformation called cache transformation and load the data into memory now we will make a connection new we can call this one um, customer name match and we call it uh, cache manager and go to the columns and here this is the first column we want to index position one because we'll be using this one for matching we don't have any other we don't need to because we want to find only the matching records uh, or no matching so we need the customer name only hit ok go to map, map okay so this is loading uh, our customer name and next uh, we need uh, it's called uh, select customer name and sale amount as we need to get the amount from this table so we call it lookup sale preview the data come and write this is exactly the same query we used in the our uh, in our uh, second lookup so we go to columns and uh, here we are all good hit ok and uh, we can write it one second guys the little uh, guy is here and I'm gonna tell him uh, would you go and sit there and play I will be there and here we will be using a call the um, get data from um, lookup and uh, we call it sale and we will be writing the data to the cache transformation or cache transformation this is also where I have learned people call it cache people call it cache so whatever you like um, um, in some of the videos I have called it cache some of the videos I call it cache so um, and this doesn't really matter as long as it work the way you want to make it work and learn what exactly it is doing so create a new cache manager we called it lookup sale uh, and we call it CM go to columns and then we are gonna select the index position as we are using customer name so we'll be using a one for it this one and that's all we will be using in the mapping and all other columns that we need in the output we will be using with the zero so hit ok mapping all good and here you can see we are loading the data from multiple sources to the memory parallel now this is uh, going to load the data parallel and the last thing what we have to do we have to come back to the same data flow where we have used the lookups and change a little bit so instead of using OLEDB connection we'll be using cache manager here and then go to connection and uh, here it was a customer name match that's what we want to use 
go to columns customer name is already mapped automatically so we don't have to do anything here and it will let uh, only the matching records go down and in the next uh, lookup uh, we will use this can cash manager that we have created for the sale amount and uh, here we'll select cash connection manager go to connection select the lookup sale cm hit ok and go to columns and we are mapping on customer name and we are selecting the sale amount so it is aut automatically done hit ok we are all good now and now if we run this package it is going to load the data from lookup tables into the memory parallel and then it is going to use that data in the next data flow to load the records so that's great if you are using a lot of lookups in data flow task instead of let them work in sequential you can use a cache transformation and load the data to the memory in parallel and then use that cache connection managers in the data flow task now let's go back truncate the table so right now it has three record what i want to show you it will load the same three records there is no difference but we'll say save some time on the loading uh, lookup data so sorry let me take this from here copy paste let's run the package and now we should not see the data loaded into the memory in sequential it should be parallel so if we go here and we will take a look uh, and uh, we would not see okay first lookup is completed second lookup is completed and all that that's not there anymore so and on the other side when we come back here we can see these were loaded parallel uh, the true test will be like if we have millions of record and uh, then we can take a look like how fast it can work and, and uh, um, it is going to make use of that. Um, I don't want to create uh, millions of record here and uh, spend another 10 minutes uh, um, to just to show you. But uh, every time uh, um, it is going to run, it is going to load the data parallel into the memory by using uh, those uh, cache transformations as we are extracting uh, the data parallel from uh, different sources. And then uh, in the next data flow as the data will be already available it will not uh, wait for these uh, lookups to be loaded it will just make use of those uh, cache transformation connection managers and uh, read the data from memory that we have loaded uh, parallel uh, in the first data flow task so thanks very much and uh, try to uh, experiment uh, and uh, see how much difference it can make now as they, nowadays the computers are very powerful we have a lot of processing we have a lot of memory and uh, they are able to handle a lot of parallel processing so uh, give a shot if you have millions of uh, record uh, come in let's say you have five lookups that you use uh, and each one has five million so why not to give a try in parallel and take a look uh, how much time you can save uh, by doing the parallel load of uh, lookup and use the uh, cache transformation. Thanks very much and I will see you guys in the next video.